Good afternoon to those who listen. It is October 16, 2018, 4.48 p.m. And I went back to the apartment, one, to uh, check the mailbox. And in there was a thing saying that there was vacant, that there was nobody, no mail there. Well, anyway, so it was broken still. Still haven't fixed it. And uh, the mail lady came by, and she... I I was asking her about, you know, she said she can't put mail there. And she knows about the mold situation, and she couldn't believe that they're doing this to me. She says, you can't live in a place that has mold. It'll make keep getting you sick. And I was like, yeah, I know. That's the whole point. So she can't believe that they're doing this to me. So I don't know. Well, here's what I got today. This, apparently they sent this in the mail to me, which I haven't got because, guess what? They screwed up the mailbox, so I can't get no mail, so I had to put it on hold, and now it's on hold, and now it's in the process of being delivered to my sister's address. So I'll get it after the fact, but I'm guessing that's what they probably were hoping that I wouldn't get it in time and wouldn't be able to uh, make this decision in time and then I would be screwed which is what I think they're thinking but anyway lease termination non-payment of rent you are notified that you're in breach of your lease with Pedcore management which I need to give them a call again due to your material non-compliance with the terms of the lease the material non-compliance Consists of your failure to pay rent for the months of October 2018, blah, 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 and late fees, blah, blah, blah. As a result of your failure to pay rent, you have the following two options. Pay the rent within three days, which is two days now. If you pay the full amount, blah, 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 the lease will not terminate. Or move out within three days. Well, guess what? I already did. If you don't pay the full amount, past due rent owed within three days, your lease will terminate when those three days have passed. So they're going to terminate the lease anyway, which is what I wanted anyway. Problem is, is I still want to be able to, I should, by law, be able to get another Section 8 in place. But my lawyer says if they don't consider it serious enough, I guess death and, uh, Permanent lung damage isn't considered serious enough to them. But anyway, so, you know, this is what I wanted anyway. So if they rent it out, then all I would owe is this one month. If they rent it out next month, which they easily could, because they say they're going to go in there in three days, then they got two weeks, which is already in perfect condition, especially if there's no mold according to them, then anybody could move in without any problems. I mean, I hate to see anybody move in there knowing what I went through, and if anybody happens to have any kind of weakened immune system, they're going to wind up getting sick too. And I really feel sorry, I would really feel bad if somebody wound up getting really sick and dying. And, you know, they didn't do nothing. I couldn't. What can I do? I've been doing everything I possibly can do. And it says you won't be given any extra time. Well, I don't need extra time now. But I have to return full and complete possession of the premises back to the landlord on or before the three days. So I'm probably going to have to do that tomorrow because I think they're closed on Thursday. So they did that on purpose, too. They made it on a Thursday. So, uh... I couldn't return the keys and then I'd have another violation. So I'll probably have to do it tomorrow. Well, I should know things by tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my job. They haven't said nothing. But I did everything in my power to find somebody else to work for me. And I found out too that my lawyer only uh, is there Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So if I wouldn't have gone today then I wouldn't have been able to go and get anything done until next week. It would have been at least next Monday. So if I would have went, say, if I would have made it for tomorrow, then nothing would have got done in time. 
like the phone call, you know, and the you know him calling Section Eight and that it wouldn't have happened because it would have been Thursday where he would have been able to call, and then of course he's not there. So I don't know what else can I do. I'm gonna have to continue on with uh, Channel Eight News and hope that they will put my story on. You know, if Section 8 would just move me to a new place, everything would be solved. How hard is this to do? You know, what? I don't understand why they're doing this. You know, if this, if this property is just going to rent it out to someone else, they, you know, I'm not liable for any more rent of that lease. I would be if they couldn't rent it out, yeah. But this place has people coming and going every single month. So I know they wouldn't have any problem in the world renting this out. So now it's just up to Section 8, and it's ridiculous that Section 8 won't just say, hey, yeah, you know, you had a health problem, we're going to make it right. I mean, that's all I'm asking is to make it right. I'm already losing everything I've already had. I moved from Colorado back here so I could be with my kids. I can't be with my kids at all. And now my ex is kind of, what's the word, I guess bitter about me not being able to take them. That she's, uh, I don't know, I just wanted to see them and, and now, I don't know, I'm not going to even get into it, it's not worth it. And I'm trying, I'm not complaining, I'm just showing you what's going on, even though I'm upset. God's in control. Although if things go if things don't work out with this section 8, then I might be forced to move out of state. And then I would get to see my kids. It's like, you know, I moved to here so I could see my kids. I was in Colorado and I couldn't see my kids and and then I finally waited my time. I had to go a whole I had to wait two and a half years altogether I had to put a year in of the section 8 in Colorado before I could even think about moving and you know my ex was complaining all the time that she wanted me to hurry up and get there but I told her I wanted to I didn't want to screw section 8 up and it's funny and now it's getting screwed up by not even my own fault and section 8 saying that I can't I'd have to reapply and guess what? In this county that I'm in, they're not even accepting applications anymore. So it would, be, I would have to go to another state that I even, you know, that is even accepting applications. So, dear Jesus, it's yours. You know, I want to do your will, but the more I think. That everything's going bad is this is my punishment for leaving Colorado I guess you're I'm, I don't know if you wanted me to stay in Colorado did I did I not follow your will when I left was your will for me to stay in Colorado I don't know, Lord. You know, I thought I knew. I thought I knew what your will was to you know, but apparently everything's going wrong. So it can't be your will. So it must be a punishment. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Thanks for watching. God bless.